So now we're going to try a problem where a 5 kilogram object is sliding down a ramp. <clears throat> the ramp is inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal, and there is friction, and the force of friction is going to be 15 newtons. Okay. And the question is, what is the acceleration of this mass? So what do we do? First thing we do is draw a free body diagram, just like before. I'm going to indicate the ramp with a little dotted line, just to remind myself that it's there. I'm tilting it a little bit. First question, is there gravity? Well, yes, of course there is. So this is 5 kilograms. The force of gravity is down, that's Fg. Is it resting on a surface? Yes. So there's a normal force. The normal force is perpendicular to the surface, perpendicular to my dotted line. Uh, is there a rope or any kind of applied force? No, but there is friction. Obviously, if this thing slides, it's going to slide down the ramp. Hopefully, that's obvious. And the force of friction, therefore, will be up the ramp. And this angle is 30 degrees. So I've got to define my x and y direction. We said that was the second step. This is going to slide down the ramp, so I'm going to call down the ramp the x direction. And perpendicular to that has to be the y direction. So now I've got to take all my forces and break them into x and y components. <clears throat> the normal force is already in the y direction. The force of friction is already in the negative x direction. So the only one I've got to break up is the force of gravity. So I'm going to break it into two components, the y component in this direction, and the x component in this direction. Call this FGY, and I'll call this FGX. Now this angle between them is 90 degrees. FG is equal to MG. So what is FGY? Well, let's break it into its component right now. Let's just get it written down. So FGY, this angle is 30 degrees. If the ramp is 30 degrees, this angle is 30 degrees. It always is. You can figure out why on your own, hopefully. So FGY, the sine of 30 would give us FGX, so I'm going to use cos 30. So it'll be MG cos 30. And FGX, therefore, will be MG sine 30. I'm going to go ahead and draw FGX up on my free body diagram just so I don't forget about it. Uh, FGX works out to be 24.5 newtons. Now I've got my free body diagram. I've broken everything into X and Y components. I can apply Newton's second law. So in the x direction, I've got fgx minus ff equals ma. And because my teacher told me I always do the x and the y direction, I'm also going to do the y direction, even though I don't know why I'm doing it. The y direction, I've got the normal forces in the positive y direction. FGY is in the negative y direction and the acceleration is in the x direction, so by definition that is equal to zero. And if I take a look at my y direction here, I can see that Fn is therefore equal to FGY. So I can show that on my free body diagram. So the normal force is not equal to the force of gravity, which I've said so many times before. In this case, on a ramp, it's equal to the perpendicular component, or FGY. Okay? perpendicular component of the force of gravity. But the question, what was the question? It asked us to find the acceleration. Okay, so I look back here in my x direction. Fgx minus ff equals ma. Therefore, the acceleration equals 24.5 newtons minus 15 newtons, all divided by 5 kilograms, which gives us an acceleration of 1.9 meters per second squared. And obviously, the direction is down the ramp. We're done. I wish someone would hit the button.